Nemanja Matic sends transfer message to Shuao Neves amid Manchester United links. Man United have been heavily linked with the possibility of signing Benfica midfielder Shuao Neves in recent months. Former Manchester United midfielder Nemanja Matic has advised Shuao Neves to stay at Benfica for now amid reports linking him with a move to Old Trafford. United, who are gearing up to face Coventry City in the semi-finals of the FA Cup at Wembley on Sunday, are set to be in the mix for a new defensive midfielder this forthcoming summer. Casemiro, now 31, has regressed at an alarming rate this season and is in need of replacing. According to a report coming out of Portugal earlier this week, United have installed Neves, 19, as their top target for the summer. A report also claimed United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe had met Neves' agent who is renowned super agent Jorge Mendes to discuss the possibility of a transfer for the youngster. Neves has excelled for Benfica this season, racking up 50 appearances in all competitions and chipping in with three goals. Though he is primarily a defensive midfielder, he can also operate as a box-to-box -box midfield player. Widely considered as one of the most exciting midfielders in Europe, links to clubs of United stature comes as little surprise. However, former United star Matic, who spent five years at Old Trafford between 2017 and 2022, believes it would be in the youngster's best interest to continue his development at Benfica for the time being. I think it's too early for him to take that step of leaving, Matic told Portuguese newspaper O Jogo. If I were him, I would stay at Benfica for a few more years to play in the Champions League and to mature more. I'm sure his time will come and, therefore, he doesn't need to rush. Chuao is already at a big club at this point. I'm sure his future at Benfica will be very good. I think it's too early to leave, but of course, in the end, it's always his decision. Neves, who started all six of Benfica's matches in the Champions League earlier this season, has been heavily linked with a move to United in recent weeks. Last month, United skipper Bruno Fernandes, who spent time with the youngster on international duty, said he was ready to make the jump to a big club. Fernandez said, I don't know if United rumours are true, but I know he is ready for that big jump. He is an excellent player, he's with the national team. That's also why the big clubs are after him. He didn't see it coming, Rio Ferdinand's take on Man United misfit as turnaround is almost complete. The former Manchester United star analysed the Champions League quarterfinals on TNT Sports. Rio Ferdinand believes Jadon Sancho is now proving a point to Manchester United after the players' fallout with Eric Ten Hag. Sancho sealed a lone move to former club Borussia Dortmund in January after a public spat with the United manager, and has now helped the German club reach the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League. Dortmund stunned Atletico Madrid 4-2 in their quarter-final second leg at Signal Iduna Park on Tuesday night winning the tie 5-4 aggregate after they trailed 2-0 at one stage in the first leg. Sancho didn't get on the scoresheet in either game but has been widely praised for his displays since rejoining BVB, with Ferdinand among those to lord the English winger. We asked for Sancho to put in a performance, a lot to prove and he's showing it, said Ferdinand on TNT Sports. He's left Manchester United under a cloud, he's now in a Champions League semi-final against PSG. Who could have written that script? He wouldn't have seen that coming. Sancho took to social media himself after playing his part in Dortmund's triumph on Tuesday night. On X he wrote, semi-finals. Great fight from the team today. Combat siege. If you have a mouse, play this game for one minute and see why everyone is addicted. War Thunder. Play War Thunder now for free. By Tabula sponsored links. Dortmund will now face Paris Saint-Germain in a two-legged semi-final, with the first leg on April 30 or 31 and the second leg on May 7 or 8, for a place in the final at Wembley. Sancho could well find himself coming up against an English club in the final should they get there, with both Manchester City and Arsenal in contention for the last four. Gary Neville makes Eric Ten Hag sack prediction with clear Man United target for Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Eric Ten Hag faces an uncertain future as Manchester United manager, and former club captain Gary Neville believes one result could force Sir Jim Ratcliffe into a huge decision. Gary Neville believes Eric Ten Hag could be sacked if Manchester United don't win the FA Cup this season.
The Reds will lock horns with Coventry City at Wembley in the semi-final on Sunday, April 21 and need a result following a disappointing 2023-24 campaign so far. United haven't won the FA Cup since 2016, beating Crystal Palace in extra time, despite having reached the final twice since, losing to Chelsea and Manchester City in 2018 and 2023 respectively. Even if the Reds manage to see off Mark Robbins' side, they will face either Chelsea or City in the final. Speaking on the Gary Neville podcast, the former United captain claims the club's season will be over if they don't defeat Coventry. As quoted by Sky Sports, the 49-year-old said, they have just got to try get to the end of the season and win the FA Cup which is not going to be easy. They have to win next weekend as the season will be over if they don't. Eric Ten Hag has got to look at this season whereby he could finish his first two seasons with two trophies in the bank, one in each season. That should never be sniffed at. Neville says that the red season is not the only thing on the line on Sunday, with Ten Hag's future also resting on the result, there's nothing left to say about some of the league performances we're seeing and some of the things we're watching, the tweets and the likes, we've said it so many times before. But what we can say is that Eric Ten Hag's future is largely dependent on the FA Cup, as their performances in the league are gone. They are not going to change, now what we are seeing is how they will finish the season it seems like the players have switched off away from home at times. At home, they have to turn on as there's 75,000 people who won't allow them to get away with it. The Man United fans, they never stop away from home and they are watching some really dodgy stuff. They never turn against the team or manager and they have been dealt with some right guff. But the FA Cup is everything. Alan Shearer and Gary Lineker have predicted a Manchester derby in the FA Cup final. Speaking on the Rest is Football podcast, Match of the Day presenter Lineker said, the odds are probably in favour of another All-Manchester final, the first one of which was just about a year ago. It could be another repeat. Meanwhile, the former Newcastle United striker agreed, it wouldn't surprise me. You can imagine them sat there thinking, come on, we all want Coventry, which is understandable, but Man United got them. It's not going to be easy for them by the way. I was really impressed with Coventry. Mark Robbins is doing an unbelievable job. The way they fought back was really, really impressive. It was no fluke, they deserved it. They were brilliant, Coventry. But it's understandable everyone wanted them in the semi-final. He didn't see it coming, Rio Ferdinand's take on Man United misfit as turnaround is almost complete. The former Manchester United star analysed the Champions League quarterfinals on TNT Sports. Rio Ferdinand believes Jadon Sancho is now proving a point to Manchester United after the players' fallout with Eric Ten Hag. Sancho sealed a loan move to former club Borussia Dortmund in January after a public spat with the United manager, and has now helped the German club reach the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League. Dortmund stunned Atletico Madrid 4-2 in their quarter-final second leg at Signal Iduna Park on Tuesday night, winning the tie 5-4 aggregate after they trailed 2-0 at one stage in the first leg. Sancho didn't get on the scoresheet in either game but has been widely praised for his displays since rejoining BVB, with Ferdinand among those to lord the English winger. We asked for Sancho to put in a performance, a lot to prove and he's showing it, said Ferdinand on TNT Sports. He's left Manchester United under a cloud, he's now in a Champions League semi-final against PSG. Who could have written that script? He wouldn't have seen that coming. Sancho took to social media himself after playing his part in Dortmund's triumph on Tuesday night.